Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been creating this stories design using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in the previous video, we created this design right here and this is how it looks right now. Now in this video, I'll show you how to design the full screen view of this uh, stories design. So if I click on any of these stories, we can see that it is displayed in full screen mode and uh, if I click on this close button, it goes back to the regular view. So in this video, we will design this using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. Alright, here I'm in the source code. So let's go to the HTML file and let's scroll down and uh, for the full screen view, let's create a container division and let's give it a class of stories full view. Now the first thing we will do is create this close button right here. So let's create a division with the class of close btn and for the icon let's use heroicons.com. Right here I'm in heroicons.com and let's search for close and let's copy this icon from here and let's go back and let's paste it over here. Right now we need to create this section right here so we need to have the previous button, we need to have the image and the author and also the next button. So let's go back and let's create a container division and let's give it a class of content. And in this we need to have the previous button. So I'll just copy the code of the previous button from here. So let's copy this from here and uh, let's paste it over here. And then we need to have the story. So let's create a division with the class of story. And after that we need to have the next button. So I'll just copy the next button code from here. So I'll just copy this division and uh, let's paste it over here after the story. Now in this story we need to have the author and the image. So let's create an IMG tag and in the SRC let's type images for slash and for this one let's select the third image and uh, let's create a division for the author. So I'll just create a division with the class of author and here I'll just type author. We'll change the details later. Right now let's go back to our design and uh, this is how it looks. We have the close button, we have the next and the previous buttons and we also have the image and the author. Right now let's style this using CSS. So let's go back and uh, let's target the container division which is stories full view. So let's tap stories full view. And first of all let's set the position to fixed. So I'll just tap position fixed. And uh, let's set the inset to zero so that the left, top, right and bottom positions are set to zero. First of all, let's go ahead and style this close button right here. So let's go back and for the close button, we have this uh, division with the class of close btn. So let's type stories full view close btn and uh, let's set the position to absolute. And we need to position it to the top left corner. So let's type top 16 pixels and left 16 pixels. And let's set the width of the icon to 30 pixels. And let's also set the background color to 444. And let's set the color of the text to white. And let's set the border radius to 50%. And let's add a padding of 10 pixels. And let's set the display to flex, just like we did for the next and the previous buttons. We'll also set the cursor to pointer. So I'll just tap cursor pointer. Right now let's style the next and the previous buttons and we can add the same styles that we added for these buttons over here. So let's go ahead and uh, find the selector. So here we have the next and the previous buttons. So let's go ahead and add the next and the previous buttons of the stories full view. So here I'll just type stories full view previous btn and stories full view next btn and let's go back and we need to add the same for these two selectors. So here let's type comma stories full view previous btn and here let's type comma stories full view next btn. Now here we can see that the previous button for this design is also being displayed over here. 
So what we need to do is we need to add a higher Z index for this stories full view. So let's go back and uh, here for the stories full view, let's type Z index and I'll just set it to five. And let's also set a background color. So I'll just type background and uh, let's set the color to RGBA. 0, 0, 0 and for the opacity let's type 0 0.9. Now we need to bring everything to the center. So here we can see that all this content is in the center. So for that let's type display of grid and place items to the center. Right now let's style the content. So here we can see we have this division with the class of content and in that we have the previous button, the story and the next button. So let's target that. Here I'll just type stories, full view, content and let's set the height to 90 viewport height and we'll set the width to 100% and uh, we'll also add a max width. So the width will not be higher than this width right here. So let's set it to 700 pixels. Now let's also add a max width so that the width won't be greater than the value that we add over here. So I'll just set it to 700 pixels. Right now let's style this image. So the image is uh, inside the story. So let's type stories full view story image. And let's set the height of the image to 100%. And we also need to set the height of the container division of the image. So for the image we have this container division of story. So let's type stories full view story. And let's set the height to 100% of the parent which is content. Now we can see we have the correct height for the image. Now let's also set an aspect ratio for the image. So here let's type aspect ratio and I'll just set it to 10 by 16. And we'll also set the object fit to cover. And let's also set a border radius. So I'll just type border radius and I'll just set it to 16 pixels. Now we need to bring this image to the center. So here for the story, let's tap text align center. Now if you go to the original design here, we can see that the next and the previous buttons are closer to the image, but here it is on the extreme left and right sides. That's because uh, the container division of these previous and next buttons should have a position of relative. So for that, let's go back and for the content, let's tap position relative. Now we can see that we have the correct position for the icons. Right now the last thing we need to style is the author. So let's go back. And for the author we have a division with the class of author. So here let's tap stories, full view, author. And uh, we'll set the position to absolute. And we'll set the top position to 8 pixels. And we need to bring it to the center. So let's tap left of 50%. And uh, now we can see it starts from the center. So we need to also type transform translate x negative 50%. And now it is exactly in the center. Well, let's go back and let's set the font family to Roboto and Sans Serif. And let's set the font size to 18 pixels. And I will set a background color. And we'll just set it to RGBA. 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.6 and let's set the color of the text to white. Let's also add some padding. So I'll just type padding and let's set the padding to 4 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And let's also add a border radius and let's set it to 8 pixels. And with that we have completed designing the full screen view of this stories design. Now in the next video, I'll show you how to add the functionality of all these elements. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.
Thank you.